all you gamers out there, NavyGunner04 here bringing you the requested review of Rare Replay on Xbox One. Rare Replay is a collection of 30 games Rare has released over the past 30 plus years. It contains games that have been released on the ZX Spectrum, NES, Genesis, Arcade, Nintendo 64, Xbox, and Xbox 360. At the end of this video, I will show you what games are in this collection and what years they were released. Since reviewing each individual game could take hours upon hours, I am going to just review the whole package instead and give you a little history on what led up to this package. Unacceptable! Rare has a long history in the gaming industry. Originally starting out as Ultimate Play the Game in 1982, in the early 80s, they created games mainly on the Spectrum series of consoles. They also ported these games to BBC Micro and Commodore VIC-20. In 1985, Ultimate changed their name to Rare and entered a partnership with Nintendo to produce games on the NES. During the next few years, Rare released several new IPs, including the classic game Battletoads. In 94, Nintendo bought a 49% share in Rare and made them a second party developer. During this time frame, Rare used the name Rareware with the slogan Rare, Design of the Future. They released hit after hit for Nintendo with titles like Donkey Kong Country, Killer Instinct, GoldenEye 007, Perfect Dark, Banjo-Kazooie, and Conker's Bad Fur Day. In 2002, Microsoft bought Rare from Nintendo by paying $375 million to own 100% of the company. Many see this as when Rare was no longer at the top of their game. Bite my shiny metal ass! The first Xbox released game by Rare was Grab by the Ghoulies, which released to mixed reviews. Then, with the release of the Xbox 360, saw launch day releases of Cameo and Perfect Dark Zero. Both received average reviews, but were far from what Rare was known for. The next two games did garner better reviews. These games were the two Viva Pinata games. Their final, non-connect game released was Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, which again received decent reviews, but was not a huge commercial success. Since their game sales were not what Microsoft expected, the company was restructured, giving it the focus on console avatars and Kinect games. The first Kinect game was Kinect Sports, and despite average reviews, was a huge commercial success. Kinect Sports 2 also saw a huge commercial success, but Kinect Sports Rival, released on the Xbox One, saw mixed reviews and was a commercial failure. Finally, with the requirement of the Kinect for Xbox One, Rare was brought back to make games that were not Kinect related. The first release being a collection of Rare's greatest games named Rare Replay. This package was most likely to show why Rare at one point was one of the top video game makers. Get mad! I don't want your damn lemon! With Rare Replay featuring 30 different games from three different decades, almost every genre is covered, and there is tons of gameplay for almost every type of gamer. One thing many gamers don't realize is how difficult games used to be. The very first time you play this game, it will feel brutal. You will think, how could anybody have beaten any of these games? Once you play the game for a while, you realize that most games have a pattern, and if you find out what it is, you can get through that area with no problems. The other huge helpful thing is that Rare added three things to help you get through these games. They brought an infinite continue option you can toggle on and off, there's a save feature in every game that saves the exact location where you are, and you can save up to three different games. And the final and best addition is a rewind feature. Rewind! That never happened. What? Hey, yeah, this is definitely the first time I ever did this one. The rewind feature is available in all NES and before games. With the push of the left trigger, you can rewind your gameplay for 10 or 15 seconds. This is completely seamless and you can use this over and over again and there is no loading. I probably wouldn't have gotten to the third level of Battletoads without this feature. Many of the games have aged well, and the D-pad on the Xbox One 
which is much, much better than the Xbox 360's, is very responsive with no lag. Some games have not aged as well. The Nintendo 64 games seem to be the biggest offenders. The controls on these games seem very awkward. Luckily, Rare is listening to these complaints, releasing a better control scheme for Jet Force Gemini, which before the modern control option was almost impossible to play. This was a post-release patch. There are many things to unlock by playing the games. There is a gameplay section named Snapshots which tasks you with playlists that require certain tasks through multiple games such as collecting items and defeating bosses. The game also features a stamp collection which after a certain amount of stamps you unlock the next level and will unlock different videos from the history behind Rare such as release game commentary, unreleased game commentary, and music tracks. So what did I think of this game? Oh my god, who the hell cares? Not everything in this game will appeal to everyone, but there is enough content and variety that there is something here for everyone. Some games haven't aged well, but the original gameplay has been left unaltered, meaning you can play it how you remember it. The rewind, save, and infinite continues is huge for the older games, making them more accessible to everyone. Unfortunately, not all the games are on the disc, though, with the Xbox 360 games requiring a download for each game, meaning almost 40 gigabytes needs to be downloaded. Also, their claim of 10,000 gamer score is a little misleading because only 4,000 of those gamer score are on the disc. The other 6,000 are attached to the Xbox 360 games individually, and if you have already earned achievements for the games, you won't unlock them a second time. Despite these issues, I give this game an 8 out of 10. I don't even talk like this. I talk like this. Straight gangster. So if you enjoyed my videos, please click on that little thumbs up below, subscribe to my channel, and as always, if you would like to request a game, please leave it down in the comments below and I'll add it to my selection. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Here are the games included in this collection and the dates that they were originally released. Jetpack, 83. Lunar Jetman, 83. Attic Attack, 83. Saber Wolf 84 Underworld 84 Night Lore 84 Gunfright 85 Solemn 86 RC Pro M 87 Cobra Triangle 89 Snake Rattle and Roll 90 Solar Jetman 90 Digger T Rock 90 Battletoads 91 RC Pro Am 2 92 Battletoads Arcade, 94. Killer Instinct Gold, 96. Blast Core, 97. Banjo Kazooie, 98. Jet Force Gemini, 99. Perfect Dark, 2000. Banjo Tootie, 2000. Conker's Bad Fur Day, 01. Grabbed by the Ghoulies, 03. Cameo, 05. Perfect Dark Zero, 05. Viva Pinata. 06. Jetpack Refueled, 06. Viva Pinata, Trouble in Paradise, 08. Banjo and Kazooie, Nuts and Bolts, 08. Staring Contest? I thought we were having a blinking contest and I was losing.